caught up with the uh, creator of Sonic here in the uh, Sega corner of TGS and I thought I'd ask first, during these 20 years you've spent with Sonic, uh, are there any special memories or fond memories that, that you could tell us about? The first time I worked on a Sonic title was on Sonic 3, which was on the Mega Drive. And until this point I had never really been abroad and had not really understood the world outside of Japan. But from working on this title, I was sent to America and I worked in the US uh, to develop this game. And it really opened up my understanding of the world and gave me a much uh, broader uh, understanding and vision of uh, uh, gave me a more global vision. So, and also, uh, and I eventually went back to Japan, but then I went out to the US again uh, for Sonic Adventure 2, and then again, you know, I had a, another. Um, uh, overseas experience there and really working on a Sonic title has given me so much more of a global understanding so th I think this is really one of the key things uh, for me uh, from working on Sonic. So what it's been like to sort of go through all of Sonic's history to find the, the best moments in it that you wanted to bring back in, in Sonic Generations? From developing this game, we really had to look back on you know Sonic's 20, 20 years of history, and, and we really felt uh, the great length and depth of Sonic's history by doing so. And also, when we uh, saw the really kind of classic stages completely recreated and redesigned in next-gen graphics, it was actually quite a tearful moment. It was really touching, and we really hope that the fans will also have the same uh, sensation that we felt when we when we saw this and uh, please look forward to playing Sonic Generations. Is there any particular zone that you feel especially proud of in, in Sonic Generations? Uh, over these 20 years, I'm sure many people have come to in contact with Sonic in some way and they have played one, one of the various level uh, games that we have released and I think with Sonic Generations people would uh, be playing the game and immediately be able to identify with uh, the levels because they would have you know played this in previous Sonic titles but this time it's in full HD graphics and it's being built from the ground up and it is looking absolutely beautiful and also the music is something that people really identify with in Sonic games and they have been really brought up to date as well so and it's not just the graphics or the music but also the gameplay as well I think people will be able to play this game and get that sense of nostalgia they'll be able to immediately identify this as being the Sonic game they remember but completely brought up to date and we've been able to encapsulate all of these elements into one title I think this is one of the great features of Sonic Generations so I, I uh, played the uh, Seaside Hill uh, over there uh, from Sonic Heroes uh, and it brought back some of the, my memories about being underwater with Sonic and uh, the the panic that you feel. Um, could you tell us a little bit about these sort of these sort of iconic Sonic moments and and how important that was to to, to bring back those uh, those moments, especially when you feel that panic. That sort of uh, providing the user with a sense of surprise, you know, and, and always surprising the user is something that we always wanted to do. And, you know, giving them that sort of panic sensation is certainly one of the things that we wanted to achieve. And, for example, in Emerald Coast, uh, there's the killer whale that suddenly jumps out, and, and in the city escape, there's a truck that's, uh, you know, trying to chase Sonic down. And these things all add to that sort of sense of excitement and, and uh, that sense of urgency. And so we've got many elements in the game through the years and obviously uh, in generations for m most and foremost where we really try and keep users on their toes so if you play the level and you you may you know you may already know okay in this level before there was a truck that was following me so you might think oh it's not going to surprise you as much but we've got all sorts of new elements in there as well in there as well to keep the user surprised and keep them on their toes and um you mentioned Emerald Coast, and that's also on the Nintendo 3DS version. Uh, could you tell us a little bit about uh, 
the, the sort of the differences between the Nintendo 3DS version and the uh, the console game. Ano. So the big difference between the two, uh, that being the home console version and the handheld version, is that they only have uh, stage-wise Green Hill Zone in common. So you start on Green Hill Zone in both the 3DS and the home console versions, but all the other levels following that are completely different. Um, in the home console version, for example, the second player level you'll play as Chemical Plant. On the 3DS version, the second uh, level you'll play will be Casino Night. So you know they have levels exclusive to uh, those consoles, which are obviously a big difference, a um, big different factor. And also on the 3DS we have features like Street Pass, uh, there's the two-player network mode and you know there's, there's features specific to the hardware that we've got in there which obviously will you know, further create a, a differentiation between the two different versions. So the final question uh, how do you see the next 20 years for Sonic? Sonic started as an action game 20 years ago and we will continue to focus on creating the best possible action games but we want to reach uh, the widest possible audience so you know we will probably see Sonic going into other genres of games and also seeing Sonic in different media so uh, we will hopefully be able to have as many people as possible enjoy Sonic. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.